Hello there, my name is Rachel Lucky to Combo Animation and today we talk about a new anime series from Netflix called Kitty Cats. Now this anime series is just fall into the genre of magical girl type of genre. If you like that genre, I'm hundred percent sure you probably like this series, but at the same time I have warned you this series starts a little clunky, especially the writing part because some of the dialogue feels sort of awkward, like if they try to make it sort of a the new girl in school sort of awkward conversations but it feels really out there like doesn't feel like a person would say that but at the same time it did it on purpose but something later on improves he understands how dialogue actually falls to work and something that you kind of will notice the first episode especially how the animation is not the highest budget to compare to like Miss Ladybug or Steven Universe because both of them are in the same sort of Western. Well, not Western. That one's uh, Italian, I think, or French. And the other one is American. But you get the idea. They fall to the Western superhero, but they actually are magic girl. But I love it. They do little things a little different here. That you do have three main members of this group called Kitty Cats, or are basically protectors. But at the same time, they were sort of accidental because the main lead is the new girl who went to this sort of kind of museum with this mean girl and they sort of accidentally took a crystal and Tabitha the main lead became sort of the leader kind of the leader is it's one of those like who has the best idea gets to lead and that's sort of I think the approach of the whole series that sort of the situation they put themselves it's sort of weird, unusual, but you want to get out of it, you have to sort of defeat the main villain. But I love it. This series feels sort of refreshing that is focused on the two main leads. The sort of villain, but not really the main girl, be uh, Chattery, who is a SOB. She is sort of a mean girl who treats people like Dirt, but not over exaggeration, but just sort of uncomfortably. But if she's the type of person that she's not 100% a mean girl. She is trying to be nice, especially with Tabitha, but it's sort of her jealousy make her sort of interesting how uh, how she approaches now words. You also have Tabitha who tried to fit in school, but yet she doesn't know how to because how awkward she is because she's sort of new he doesn't know how to approach people but at the same time these two main lead characters it's basically the villain and the hero sort of type of situation that at the very end they need to fight and it's sort of predestined now works but yet it's sort of self-aware enough and interesting they give you that sort of attention that yeah we try something new here this might work this might not but at the very end i feel that sort of kind of centerboard cartoon cheesiness does land well this series. Of course, I'm not appreciating the sort of CGI. And that's because I'm more fan to 2D animation. It's the CGI I felt, specifically the movements. It doesn't feel natural enough. It's, it feels a little like, kind of clunky. Like, it doesn't feel like a person should have moved. But once more, I don't know if that's sort of what the creator wanted. Or it's just sort of how the budget was. Like they don't have enough time to really figure out how the character should move. But it's not distracting. It's something that you really notice if you're set with animation. Or understand how animation moves makes sense. But of course it's something that just sort of nitpicks. This series is fine. It's cheesy. It's ridiculous. You like magical girl kind of type of genre. This is more for you. Of course just be warned. It's a little clunky at the very beginning. But I have to admit, I did like that sort of each episode sort of explains the world, how the little things work, why Tabitha is sort of chosen, why uh, Charity is sort of chosen also to be sort of the hostess of the main villain, and also how Tabitha and Charity sort of relationship, because they have that sort of kind of Goku, Vegeta sort of kind of bromance, but not really. But the only difference is Tabitha is sort of aware that uh, Charity is sort of an asshole. But it's something that's sort of interesting. That's sort of, they try and be that sort of relatable. Like either or, you like either or of the main leads, you understand both of them. But once more, it's sort of the funness 
the cheesiness, and sort of kind of drama. They do trying to push that sort of drama. It does work, but sometimes they stop doing the drama to make some sort of weird uh, kind of joke. Not weird. It's sort of self-aware. This is sort of odd, but once more, it works. It's fun. It's not. It's sort of harmless. In fact, I kind of recommend it only if you like magical drama or sort of self-awareness. But just again, it's kind of clunky, but it gets there. I honestly got nothing else to say. Just thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and have a wonderful day. Bye.